Today we are going to create a still life using construction paper. This still life is going to be a plate of fruit. The fruit or the food here are going to be things that I like. In the Pegasus class, we're still doing our body study. This is something you can place right into your experience journal. And I want you to be thinking about the foods that you like and use those pieces of food or fruits or vegetables or whatever it is as the elements for your still life. The first thing we're doing here is, is simply making a table, something to set a plate or a bowl on top of that we can then place our fruit on top of. You can make your table any way you want. Maybe your table is round. Maybe your table has a different angle. Maybe it's off to the side, right? Not in right not right in the center. That's all up to you. I am going to glue this table down first because this part is not going to move. You'll see later on as I start to make my fruit, I am not going to glue those down right away so that I can continue to play with the composition, play with how I want to overlap the shapes. And that's just something I want you to, to think about. So when you have your shapes cut out, play with them first, play with your composition, how you're going to place those items on your table and make some decisions before you commit to gluing them down. I'm just going to add some shadow here. Again, we're making a collage, but you can go ahead and use markers, use pencils, use other things to add some details to your work. that looks good so next I'm going to choose a color and just create a plate to set my fruit on I'm laying the paper on top of my table just to give myself an idea how big I want this plate to be and then just cut it out So like I was saying, once you cut these things out, um, go ahead and just kind of play with it on the page. Draw some more details if you want to. I'm just gonna give this sort of a shadow edge and maybe just some detail to make it feel more like a plate. And then once I'm done, I'm not going to glue it down right away I'm just gonna play with around with where I feel that this would be the best. I know I want a little glass of water off to the side, so I'm gonna make my plate off to the left. All right. So this is the last element that I will glue down until I have all of my food items cut out. First up, we have a banana. So I'm going to repeat the process I did by laying the paper on the plate to guess how big I want that banana to be. So I have some kind of reference to size. 
go ahead and use your construction paper if you have some. We are going to use this shape as a stencil to cut out another banana shape. Next, this time on some paper that I actually just color yellow with my marker. And I'll show you that here as soon as we cut this out. So you might not have yellow construction paper, but you can always make your elements. You could even find some, some yellow somewhere, maybe in a newspaper or a magazine and, and use that first shape to trace around as a stencil to get another shape. So here I'm simply coloring some yellow lines on my white paper, regular paper, and then I'm going to trace this banana. So I'll have two bananas, one from construction paper and one where I colored the paper myself. So a couple of tips on how to get some color to get the items that you want. It might be nice too if you could have some of these items uh, in front of you for reference. Really look at how these things look in real life. Um, these bananas where they are all attached to each other at the top, it's a little green. So I'm going to add that detail. Find how many details you can come up with here of looking at your fruit, looking at your food items. They also have sort of uh, some planes on them. This is where we peel the banana. There's also some, some little brown spots on there. Give us as many details as you can to let us know what we're looking at here. I'm going to do that to both of them here. All right. You can see how it already is going to come together, especially with overlapping. These bananas look really good already. Next, I'm going to make a couple oranges. This time I'm going to fold the paper and cut two out at the same time since I have plenty of this orange construction paper. Orange peels have a really interesting texture too. So I want to put some of that texture on this piece. It's almost wrinkly if you really look at it. couple bananas, couple oranges. Now I'm going to create some limes. We're going to speed things up here so our video isn't so long. Really, all I'm doing is repeating the exact same process. I'm either creating my own color pieces or I'm using construction paper. And then I'm just adding little details. Again, I'm looking at the fruit in this case, observing how it looks and just doing some simple stuff here to make it be really fun and cool. A couple apples, We've got some color on our plate now. Again, some more details. 
can even start to play around with your composition. The more you have, the more interesting it will look. The more shapes you can overlap. These are going to be some little blueberries. I love blueberries. And once you have all your pieces cut out, now you can start to glue them down after you've arranged them and played with them for a little bit. And you want to start towards the back of the plate. In this case, it's going to be at the top. And as the fruit comes forward, it's going to feel like it's moving forward because we are going to focus on overlapping these shapes. So right now, this apple is a little bit in front of that orange. Again, for this one, you would need to start at the top of the plate and work your way down, overlapping these shapes. Add some blueberries. Overlap that orange just a little bit. This looks like a good spot. I'm overlapping three other elements. Now that banana is really popping forward. Put a lime on the end there. See how many shapes you can overlap. Play with the angles. All right, just a few more items here. Put that apple right in front. Got another orange here. I'll try to squeeze that. Yeah, we'll put it up in the corner. Hmm, yeah, right there. Let's put it right there. Overlapping that banana just a little bit. Okay, let's finish up our blueberries. So again, the closer things are to us, they will be overlapping the shapes behind them to create that illusion. All right. Now I'm going to go back in with my marker and just fill in where I did with the pencil. I really want those lines that I drew with the pencil to pop. So I'm just gonna go over them with a darker color, in this case, a black marker. Add some little shadows here just with my pencil. All right, now I'm going to get that glass of water started. When I get done with this shape, though, I'm going to set it aside until I finish my background. Now the, the plate of fruit is really the focus here. Um, the rest of this work that I'm going to be doing here is just to create an environment and to put some finishing touches on this still life. I'm going to create a little horizon line. Maybe put an angle to some flooring here, make it look like it's sitting in space. 
and not just floating on a white piece of paper. Again, creating some type of an environment. It's not necessary to complete the objective here. It's just a nice finishing touch. <clears throat> I'm going to have a little chair here. So this table is actually going to be overlapping a little chair in the back. I'm just going to fill that in with my pencil. All right. Next, I'm going to create a color in this background, bring some life into this piece. I'm just going to make a solid red back wall. Again, I created a little horizon line and I did some directional lines on the floor. And now these lines I'm creating are, are basically all vertical. Uh, representing the the wall in the background. My wall is going to be red. Use any color you want. Maybe you collage your background. There's all kinds of ways to put, put your own finishing touches on these things. All right. Now I'm just going to create a little shadow underneath this table. I'm just doing this with a series of diagonal lines. I'm spacing them out just a little bit so it's not solid. You can do whatever you want here. This is just me having fun, showing you some ideas. You'll notice too I'm using this piece of paper to mask off areas so I have a nice straight line when I remove the paper. Did you see that? I'm just gonna finish it off here. Now finally I'm gonna add my cup of water. All right there is my still life. So again Find some things that you like, cut them out, create them however you want, overlap some shapes, and create your very own still life.